Okay. So today I am going to be doing a review of the Free Tom Sleek 5 inch tan unpainted 2 in 1 STP. This video is an educational video. Underage people need to see this video. Do not flag it. There are trans people who are under the age of 18 who have dysphoria who need products like these. This product is not for sex or anything like that. It's a two-in-one. It's just for packing and peeing. Okay? Just an STP. It looks very much like a penis, but it is not for that kind of thing. Also, if you're feeling dysphoric, I would not recommend watching this video. There's my little disclaimer. If you want to leave this video, you don't want to see a dick, go away. I have just realised now that my camera is focusing on Daenerys. Look away if you don't want to see a prosthetic. If you do... Uh, this is it. The Free Tom Sleek. I am changing positions because stupid camera is focusing on people in the background. That's not what it needs to do. This prosthetic has the new urethra, but as you can see, it doesn't look like it does out of the box. This is after a few months use, by the way. It's not brand new. It still has the pleasure slide that the 4-in-1 has. So the price for this prosthetic came out to be 107 US dollars, which equals 143 Australian dollars. And that's because the Australian dollar is pretty shit. I did get it with a 50% discount. From when I ordered it, the expected date for it to arrive was the 16th or the 17th of May. And it came on the 23rd, so that was the next week, which is pretty damn good. So this prosthetic was pre-made and ready to ship. When I got it, it came in this box. Little, little box. It had a little invoice thing on the outside, on the back of this box, just on the bottom. Because it came to Australia, it wasn't as discreet as I thought. It doesn't, it doesn't really matter to me. See, it came saying that it was like a pack and play SDP thing. So I think it's kind of obvious as to what it is. So it's not really discreet, but I don't really care about that. If you do, warning. If I'm not sure if that would have happened if it was to somewhere else in America, but if it was coming to a place overseas, it was not good. So it is fairly realistic, as you can see. It has little veins and things, but I think when I first washed this, like one of the first few times, I might have used something that was not water-based, so it started to like get a little marks on it and stuff. Can you see that? Is it focusing? I have no idea. Little bits missing off it, which might be from wear, because it's quite it's a squishier material than the 4-in-1 is. I have no idea how squishy the 4-in-1 actually is, but that's what I've what it says about it. I thought that it would feel more hollow because people, whenever they talk about STPs, they're always like, oh, it's so hollow and it's so bendy, but it's like, it's pretty like, see, it's actually pretty solid. And the hole is kind of small. You can see that. Yeah, you can see it now. Which is okay. The solidness is good probably for a two-in-one in this type of silicon because if the hole was wider, it would probably kink while you're using it and then it would just, it would, like, you know, like a hose, it would just stop anything from coming through and then it would just go everywhere. So you don't want that. So that's, that's a good thing. These little tears are only cosmetic problems. They're not really affecting the STP at all. I'll give you a size comparison. So this is the same size as a can of Coke, but it's, oh, also, so this is it compared to a can. So it is, it's about, the shaft is about as long as a can. I think it is. 
it looks like it. So the colour of this is, even though I'm pale as fuck, um, it's still, it's too light for me. So, and I'm like the whitest person of all time. I mean, it's not, it's not bad. For tan, it's got pretty pink undertones, considering that it's tan. Also, with the colour, when you baby powder it or cornstarch it, the powder can actually like soak into the, the silicon which actually lightens the colour of the prosthetic a little bit. So going darker than your skin tone is definitely necessary. If I could, I would go for the light brown because I've seen on Tumblr lots of people have the light brown that are like Caucasian. So I'd go with that, don't go with the tan or the Caucasian. They're pretty freaking white. Don't do that. I'm a stupid. I did it. So, mm. so I was thinking about possibly dyeing this. I mean, it's okay. I'm, I'm not. I'm not mad at it. If I want to get another one, I will. But it's good enough for me. Aesthetically, in terms of its detail, apart from these little wear and tear things that I did, um, it looks pretty good. Like when I, when I. <laughs> When I took it out of the box, I was like, that's a penis. It took me by surprise how realistic it actually was. It might not look it, but when you manhandle it, you're like, yeah, that's, that's a penis. <laughs> As an STP, it's fairly good. You have to control your flow and you have to, I don't know why people say cup the balls. You don't like fucking nye -nye. You just like press it up a little bit. You don't, you need like, one finger. You have to put it directly underneath you because it's cup, no shit, and then it just goes straight down. Gravity. If you hold it like this, it is not going to work. It is stupid. It goes down and then you pull it out. Or like, not too far out or else gravity again. You need to have it going more down than across. Also, I don't know why people like bash the balls because like, they're not that bad. No one sees them. Focus on this. No one sees the balls. They're okay. And I don't know why people are like, oh they're hollow all this. It's actually got extra silicone on the um, on the balls area. So if you do press that up, it's not going to collapse while you're pressing it up to your body to pee. It's not going to just like flip and like do crazy shit while you're doing your business. So this is the, got the new urethra on it. Now, about that. Um, personally, I think it was a bit too fiddly, so I did actually, I modified it. So that it was more of just a hole. Because when you're peeing and you're already holding the balls up, you don't really need to be also fiddling with this tip to make sure the liquid actually comes out. That's pretty stupid, I reckon. So I modified it so that it doesn't have to do that. I mean, when you're finished going and like, you're worried, it's like, people worried like, oh, it's gonna go everywhere in your pants and it's not gonna get everything out. All you need to do is just give it a little, little push up and it all runs out. It doesn't stick in there. There'll be like one or two drops and it will like dry in half an hour anyway. The length for this, for paying is like actually perfect, I reckon. If it was any smaller, it might be a bit difficult to get through your fly, and any longer, it would be kind of a pain packing wise. But the cup, I have not modified it. You see all these people that chop them up. I think it's probably better to leave it like that. When you have the cup in between your legs, you just like, it just like, I don't know. You don't need to cut it because then that affects the STP. Kind of need that whole cup to be able to use it properly and for it to work properly. So can you stop focusing on? When you're finished using it, it doesn't smell. You can't smell there's like pee in it or anything. It doesn't smell at all. Um, I have not used it in public at all. I'm not very good at using it. I've used it a few times without it leaking. I'm just really not used to it. I need to use it a bit more. I'm not saying that the product is bad or hard to use or anything. 
it's just, I need to, it's like a learning thing. It's like you're learning to ride a bike, but you're learning to pee standing up. It's like the same thing. As a packer, it's pretty flexible. Again, it's got pretty thick silicon, so it's not as squishy as I thought it would be. But if you're packing down, it does kind of like this kind of flops down. And in underwear, it's it does look a little big, and then in pants, it kind of squashes it down even more. So that's pretty good. In real life, when you're looking at this, it looks bigger than it actually is. Like, you're like, oh, it's huge, it's got a huge cup, but when you actually wear it, it's not actually that big. Can you stop? Okay, in terms of underwear to use this in, I would recommend using, if you're in Australia, these mix brand from Coles. They're probably the right tightness, but the fly is a bit tight, so it might it may kink. It kinked on me once and it didn't end very well, as you can imagine. There's the Alpha brand, they're in Kmart and other places I think too. They have a good fly, but they're kinda loose, so that's not the best. Story time. I was wearing the Alpha ones and I had I was packing down, so I was packing like this. And because it was loose, um, it was just kind of wobbling around, but like it was rubbing on my thigh and I like got like a full on like massive chafe mark on my leg from packing with this thing for like 10 hours and it just like, it rubbed me raw, like I've got like a slight scar on there now because of that. <laughs> Learn from my mistakes because I would definitely recommend getting a harness or making one yourself. I repurposed some old underwear and made them into a harness. So I got some old, well not old, like um, women's briefs that I have and I modified it so that I put like a little, got a thick hair tie and then like a to act as like an o-ring and I like sewed it on in the like a couple like an inch from the waistband and it holds everything well because with this you need support underneath so that's why I just use underwear not like that DIY harness you can make just with the waistband that wouldn't work for this I don't think so I made my own but if you make your own it does wear out pretty quick this is another one I made and it's starting to... I'll need to re-sew this. I was wearing this and these, the mix underwear, and I thought that it would be okay without a harness. Wow, I was in Ballarat for three hours and it did backflips in my underwear. Like, I'm not even joking. It was so awkward, it was just moving everywhere, so please, get a harness or make one or do something because it looks a bit weird when it's flipped upside down in your in your underwear just randomly so definitely harness necessity recently in reviews I've heard people talk about um, retaining body temperature this does retain your body temperature very well because of the thickness of the silicon so that is that it's good it does that. So only clean it and use it with water-based things. So if you check your soap and it says like water near the top, then it's water-based. If you don't use water-based soaps, it will erode away the silicon and you really don't want that. A product that's like $150, you don't want to have your money go down the drain like that. That's bad. People say to let this prosthetic air dry but I can't really leave a plastic dick laying around so I kind of just pat it and then leave it in a spot in my room and then later I come back and give it a little powder. I found a little brush that I just dab it in a little bit of I think I have baby powder and then I just 
brush it on and just like give it a little bit of a, you know. <laughs> the cornstarch and baby powder just prevents it from sticking because when it's, when it's not, like at the moment it's not, you can kind of hear that. It's all sticky. Would I recommend this prosthetic? I would say yes, it works well for what it is. I kind of feel like if I was to get it again, I would probably go for the 4 in one So it's a bit more solid when I'm using it as an STP. Because, I, I don't know, it was really annoying when it would like kink in that because it's kind of soft. So I'd go for the 4 in one and then get it in like a light brown or warm rosy skin tone. So that it matched a little bit better. The whole painted and unpainted thing doesn't really matter, in my opinion. Nobody should ever bash free time prosthetics because they're really doing a good job now and they've got this new business structure and they had issues in the past because some of their employees were apparently stealing the prosthetics. They're not a bad company. They're trying really hard to get back in the game and you know just improve and they've really done that. That was the review. Leave a comment to let me know if you want anything else from me. I've no idea what that would be, but I don't know, leave your suggestions. I feel kind of weird recording myself. I don't know why a camera is so intimidating. Look at me. I've even got headphones in to try and comfort myself because it feels so freaking weird. And plus, I can't play it out loud on my speaker because then copyright, so that's why I've got headphones in and not playing over. Yeah. So I hope you enjoyed and I hope this was semi useful maybe and I hope that I was in focus for at least half of this stupid video <laughs> because of my stupid poster. Let's see, was it focus on... no? Wow. Bye.